Lord, guide me. I worry for the faith of the other followers. I fear an impending doom. I'm not sure what it is, but the machine moving in sight of us. I can feel the gear slowing down. Yaldabaoth's presence grows more powerful, but I shall not give up hope, for my faith is strong. Hmm. There is work to be done. Huh? Uh, is... is someone there? Eh, must have been the wind. Hello? I... I know someone's in here. Don't be afraid, child. Hmm. Let's see who our guest is. Ugh. I could have sworn I heard someone. Huh? No. Yaldabaoth's followers! It has been done. The disease has spread unto the Church of the Broken God. Yes. Those who worship Mechan shall fall. Let the Age of Flesh commence! Oh, you're not Ruby. Uh, no. Ruby's with Crystal right now. But, hey, Iris, is there, uh, anything I can do? Ugh, it's stupid. I just... I haven't really gotten a chance to hang out with Dr. Bright in a while. Oh, why is that? I don't know. We used to be really good friends, but now all he does is hang out with that other scientist chick. Lizzie or whatever. You mean Lucy? Uh, yeah, that girl. Like, ugh, I'm telling you, man, she's crazy. Iris, you know you and Dr. Bright are both crazy too. Like, honestly, I don't understand how the two of you get away with as much stuff as you do. Yeah, I don't either. Dr. Patient's just really laid back, I guess. But anyways, there, there's something about Lucy. We can't trust her, Tommy. Um, Iris, I think what you're feeling right now is jealousy. Are you implying I have FOMO? I'm sorry, what? Oh, I knew you wouldn't be of any help. <sighs> Look, I'm just saying, that Lucy girl has a few screws loose, and one day, she's probably gonna get somebody killed. The few times I talked with her, she seemed nice. No hints of murderous intent whatsoever. Bro, have you seen her name tag? It literally says death on it. Look, maybe you should get to know her. You might just become good friends. There's no way that Lucy would ever harm anyone here at the Foundation. Uh, help, help me! What? What? Dr. Bright, what happened? I, I was... <coughs> oh, I was stabbed by <coughs> Lucy. <sighs> Dead. <laughs> L Lucy, what's gotten into you? See, Tommy, I told you she was crazy. Now we're all going to die. <laughs> the look on your faces. Oh, my God. That was priceless. Great job, Lucy. We got him good. Wh what? Dr. Bright, you're not really dead? Dr. Bright was helping me rehearse for the Christmas musical the SCP Foundation is putting on this year. Yeah, and judging by your faces, I think Lucy did a pretty convincing role. Huh. What's the role you're going for, Lucy? Dancing tree number two. 
What? Then, then where'd you guys get the fake blood? Uh, fake blood. Anyways, Iris, pack your bags. We're going on a mission. <gasps> really? We get to hang out again? Dr. Brendan, Iris adventure? Yeah, it'll be just you, me, and Lucy. Lucy? So, what are we doing here exactly? Ruby and I already scoped out the place. Aside from the weird cyborg dude, there wasn't anything out of the ordinary. The Foundation even has a treaty with them or something. Well, that's just it. They were supposed to report to us bi-weekly, but recently we've lost contact with them. Hmm, wonder why they stopped. Well, let's go check on them now, shall we? Who wants to be first? Eh, I'll do it. Uh, no. I'm the Mobile Task Force agent. I'll do it. The two of you just stay behind me and watch how a pro handles things. Hmm. Jeez, what's with her? I like her confidence. Hello? Mr. Robot Cyborg Guy? Are you in here? Huh? What? What's this? Oh, hey. Isn't that the symbol for sarcasm? Sarwetism? Hmm. Yep, that's blood. Yeah, anybody with eyes could see that genius. Lucy, what do you know about this sarcasm group? Well, sarcasm is a cult that worships flesh and disease. While the Church of the Broken God follow McKen, the Sarkites follow Yaldabaoth, the god of flesh and creator of humans. Wow, Lucy. Your extensive knowledge on freaky cults and world-ending gods is impressive. Dr. Bright, are you not weirded out by her at all? For all we know, she could have been in a cult before joining the Foundation. Nah, I'd always get kicked out during orientation. The Foundation found me after I wrote a few college papers on the Church of the Broken God and Sarcasm. They were surprised by how I was able to retrieve such top secret information. Uh, well, meh. Okay then, fine. Since you know a lot about this group, what is this symbol doing here? Why do the two factions hate each other if they worship different entities? Hmm. Why don't we ask the creepy guy over there? Uh, creepy guy? Uh, hey, can we help you? Oh, I believe it is I who can help you, my poor, poor children. Uh, if anyone needs help, it's you in the fashion department. I'd like the other guy's outfits better. Hmm. I have to ask, what's going on here? Are you with the Church of the Broken God? Pfft, do not mistake me for those pathetic fools. I represent the Sarkites. The Sarkites, huh? What? Uh, Why do you worship hey, that hey. god, Yaldabaoth? Ah, interested are we? Allow me to explain our beliefs. First is apotheosis. We simply wish to become a god, and Yaldabaoth's ways will help us obtain that. Next is our will, our driving force, in which we use to obtain our goals. We believe in self-sacrifice for the greater good. Okay, so these guys did the hard part for us. Oh, that's good. Next is theophagy, the consumption of a god. We believe this is our end task, our way of achieving apotheosis. And lastly, we believe to shepherd the flesh. We plan to terraform the entire world in this new age of flesh. All right, easy there, buddy. Don't hurt yourself too much. <laughs> what happened to the priest that was here? Ah, you're referring to our new follower, our latest member in sarcasm. Come, come on out, my pet. It is all right. Wait, that, that's SCP-610. It was supposed to be contained. Oh, uh, what did you guys do to him? Oh, he wouldn't listen to us with all those mechanical attachments. So we merely transformed him to our new pet. If that thing gets near you, you'll become infected. Everyone social distance! Oh, I knew I should have brought my mask. So if it infects everyone that it touches, then why isn't it going after you? 
<laughs> My dear, a fellow member does not attack another. Now then, let us go, my pet. Initiate these three. Lucy, get behind me! All right, let's get out of here! Johnson, Simmons, we got a problem. We need the rest of the bubble task force immediately. So, Dr. Bright, what do you know about SCP-610? Not much. Just that whatever we do, we must make sure it is stopped here before it escapes. <laughs>